So you started a business, you sold that business. I'd like to learn more about that with uh, the, the Mentee podcast. And then you started the, uh, the one thing or helped grow the one thing from kind of where it was at the beginning in inception to the massive brand that it is today. So talk yeah. us through this. So let's rewind. My colleague has had a stroke. My income has been slashed by 40%. I've launched the mentee to record conversations with my mentors and hopefully document my journey going from employee to entrepreneur. Two months after I launched the show, it's our national sales meeting. I walk into this big ballroom. There's like 1500 chairs and on every single copy, on every single chair was a copy of the one thing, the book. Never heard of it. Looked at the cover. I was like, oh, that looks kind of cool. And then Jay Papazan, who co-authored the book with Gary Keller, walked out on stage. And for the next hour, Justin, he blew my mind. He was sharing why the one thing is the surprisingly simple truth behind extraordinary results and how Gary used this to live his life. I mean, he literally started Keller Williams back in the 80s in Austin. It was this small little company and he had ambitions of making it the largest real estate company in the world. And when he started living the principles of the one thing, that's when it happened. And the whole time I'm sitting in the audience going, if I want to upgrade my five, what would my life look like if Jay was one of my five? What would my life look like if Gary were one of my five? Which I could not comprehend. Yet when Jay finished speaking, he gets this standing ovation. And every, when everybody sat down, I found myself standing. I was the only person in the room still standing. And it was one of those defining moments where my mind was telling me to do one thing, but my heart was pulling me in a different direction. My mind is saying, Jeff, sit down. And my heart is saying, Jeff, go. Before you know it, I'm literally sprinting down the ballroom and I intercept Jay. And that began a conversation. I uh, asked him what, I thanked him for the speech. I told him I was at this crossroads and how much value I'd gotten from him. And I asked him, out of everything you're focusing on right now, where do you need help most right now? Notice, I did not say, Jay, get down on one knee and say, Jay, will you mentor me? No, did not ask that. I asked out of everything he and Gary were focusing on, where did they need help most right now? And how might I be able to help? And they said, we're actually looking for more exposure for the book. He had no idea that the mentee was in the top 20% of podcasts in the world. So I told him. And I said, I'll interview you. And he goes, heck yeah. At the end of the interview, what are you focusing on? How can I help? More exposure. So I got him booked on all these other people's podcasts because I have a lot of relationships with other podcasters. And then I circled back a month later. What are you focusing on? How can I help? More exposure. He had no idea I was writing for entrepreneur.com at the time. I just wrote an article and blasted it on social. I saw him sharing all my posts. So I tweeted back, which I do not tweet. That may be like the only tweet I've ever sent. What are you focusing on? How can I help? And that's when he said, Gary and I are looking for a CEO for a publishing company. When he said that, I went, well, that's not me. But I immediately thought of a few people that it might be a fit for. And so in that moment, I offered to play Super Connector. We got on the phone. He described who he was looking for. And he shocked me, Justin, because he did not describe the people that I was in a relationship with. He described me. Mm. And the rest is history. So November 1st, 2015, I moved my family from Southern California to Austin and Gary J and I co-founded Productive, which is the training company behind the one thing. That's such an incredible story. And I, I love just the difference in the heart tugging you in one direction, your mind uh, logically telling you, stop doing this. And there's this conflict, but you're, the, the first thing that you said is, how can I offer value to you? How can I show up as a resource to you? And I think that a lot of people miss the mark there. That is such a great intro. It's such a great uh, icebreaker. I mean, such a powerful way to do it. 